Fraction Introduction of Fraction and Representation on Number Line Subhash and Farida are taking their food in the lunch break. Farida had khichri in her tiffin. So, Subhash gave her one chapati. Farida divides it into two equal parts and again divides two equal part of each part. One full chapati represents whole and any single part of it represents a fraction. Farida made two equal parts of a chapati. Therefore, single part of two represents half, that is, one of two parts. When Farida divides four equal parts of chapati, one single part of four parts represents quarter or one by fourth. Two parts of four represents half, that is, one upon two. Three parts of four represents as, correct, three-fourth. Four parts of four represents as one whole, that is, four out of four. The whole may be a single object or a group of objects. A fraction is a number representing a part of a whole. We represented one part of four parts as one by four. The upper part is the numerator and represents particular part and lower part is the denominator and represents total number of equal parts. Representing fractions on number line As we have to represent fractions on number line, draw a number line and mark 0. Representing 6 by 10 on a number line. 6 upon 10 is a fraction, which we have to represent on a number line. Here, fraction is positive and less than 1. Therefore, mark 1 here. It means 6 equal parts of 10 parts. Divide the unit length between 0 and 1 into 10 equal parts. This sixth part of these 10 parts represents 6 by 10. That's all in this topic, students. Let us learn about proper and improper fraction, equivalent fractions, like and unlike fractions in our next topic. Keep learning!